All right, for today's video, we're just gonna go back to a good old copper melt. So I've got a lot of Romex here that I've gotta finish pulling the casings off of this. I've already ran it through the old strip miser and stripped it, uh, or got it cut ready to strip. So anyways, I'll get on that, but uh, while I'm melting some of this. So a lot of this is Romex. There is a little bit of braided wire there, um, some ground wire and uh that's a piece of ground wire too so but for the most part it's a uh, romex in there i'll probably do all those separate which is the braided and then all the romex um pour them as ingots together so anyways follow along today we just have a good old copper melt um we'll be stripping a little bit more of that getting things ready and uh it's time to clean up around here gosh yesterday it was pretty crazy um got an inch of snow but uh surely did melt off um pretty dang quick so anyways starting to green up a little but uh yeah spring is in the air and that battle between spring and winter is going on still but anyways hopefully everyone's having a great day today um sit back and enjoy the video um i spared you guys the time of watching me strip all this but uh, we'll get some good melting going on and get that pulled apart. Got a little helper here to help us, huh? Yeah. You out here to hang out with me, huh? Yeah. All right, see ya. All right, back at it. So we have our, yep, grab my crucible here. Our crucible there. We'll get it stacked up with Sticking out a little higher than I'd like, but it'll be okay. Starting to get a little bit old on that flake off, huh? Oh well. It works for now. Get a lid up. So with Romex here, I was just going to show you a few tricks. So um, there is a setting on the Stripmeister there on an angle to put your Romex through, but I don't find that the most effective way to, to get it, especially if it's twisted up. Um, what I found best is I just use a kitchen knife and then I take that and run it on one side of the wire. I start to get my wire cut like this. Which, flip that over. And from there, I can just take and cut down through there. Like that. Getting that outer coating off. There, just like that. Pull that off. So now I've got my wire. straighten the end out so it runs through the st stripper better but then I can take that and run those through the stripper like that boom We've got a strip wire so anyways I do have these as well Sometimes, I'll show you on this piece here, sometimes on the end of these, it's hard to get it to start. So I just take and I pop the end of it off. And then from there it goes. So anyways, I keep a pair of wire strippers just for that uh, purpose, just if I need help starting it. But 
that's a quick overview on how I do that. So now back to melting and pouring. Forty-four. We're getting there. Oh yeah. stack six bars five big ones one little one All right, so there we have our stack of ingots. We have uh, five of the bigger ones and one of the smaller ones, which totals to 17 pounds, 6.4 ounces, or $52.20. So we'll add that to our channel net worth, which it makes at 272.67. So. Anyways, thank you for following along watching. It was just a fun going back to melting the copper, all the copper I have. Um, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. Hope you all have a great day. God bless and do something kind for someone.